I'd like to introduce to you the concept of the Holloway Cut Advisor. This is a patent pending program that runs free on several different websites around the world and you can use it in order to decide whether or not to consider a diamond for purchase. The the system is not for selection of diamonds, so you may have found two or three diamonds that pass this criteria. Um, they should then have further analysis and further uh, discussion and review. Um, do not try to use this software to decide whether this diamond is better than that diamond. That's something that you might use the ideal scope for, for example. Um, which is the subject of another one of these presentations. Now, what I'd like to show you on the software is how you can enter the proportions. So, 5 and 40.5 and we hit go and the screen comes up and it shows us that this diamond has excellent proportions according to both the GIA and the AGS. The GIA is the green outline and the AGS is the white outline on this chart and you can see the little X is well placed inside those two boxes. Now we're going to do the same thing again. This time we will lower the pavilion angle by one degree and we can see now on the screen that the X is right down on the lower edge of the allowable uh, selection criteria and the grade on this stone is very good worth buying if the price is right so that means that the stone is in fact a compromise it's not quite right we will now look at a stone that is too deep and in this case we'll make the pavilion angle 41.5 and we can see that the X is up in this blue zone um, the score is 5.3 good, a good cut, only if the price is your major criteria would you select this stone. Now we'll have a look at a program called Diamond Calc and we'll see what the differences might be between these three stones um, if they were cut perfectly symmetrically. So here we have the stone that is very close to Talkowski proportions, a very nice looking diamond and now I'm going to change the proportions to make it the shallower stone. You can see that there's a lot of darkness in the stone. Now I'll take it back up to the deeper stone and you can see that there is a big dark area just inside the table. We call this a no-go zone uh, diamond and if I change now to an ideal scope image you can see um, that that pale area is the area of leakage um, that's not what we want to have in a diamond. Um, change the proportions back to the really nice stone. You can see a nice balance, uh, a nice black star sitting in, hovering inside the diamond. And now to the shallow stone, you can see a lot of darkness, no leakage. Um, not a bad stone if you viewed it from a great distance, but if you looked at it from too close up, the stone would be very dark. And that's why we say some of these stones can work very well in earrings and pendants where you, the observer, are not blocking too much of the light from around the diamond. So that essentially is how HCA works. Um, if you want to learn more about the actual software, the development, the process and the cut standards that I've developed that work inside this software, um, then you can do so on diamond-cut.com.au Thank you.